In today's world of streaming, video conferencing, webinars, and online events, there's an increasing need to be able to route computer audio output back into the computer. In this video, we'll go over how you can use Mode 2 interfaces and their loopback feature to achieve this. First, let's review. What is loopback? Loopback is the ability to take audio leaving your computer and loop it back into the computer. For instance, I can record the audio of a YouTube video into my DAW software using the loopback channel on my Motu M4. Here's how we do that. First, I set my computer's sound output to M4. Next, I open Digital Performer and create a stereo audio track. Then, I set the input of the track to M4 loopback 1 and 2, and mute the track to avoid feedback. Lastly, I record enable the track, press record, and then play my YouTube video. The YouTube audio plays out of my M4 outputs while at the same time getting recorded to the track in Digital Performer. It's worth noting that the volume of the sound source is what controls the volume. In this instance, the YouTube video volume will control the level of the loopback audio recording. When I'm done, I stop the YouTube video, stop my recording, disarm my track, and unmute the track. I can now listen back to what I've recorded. This was a very basic example of how loopback works. Now, let's go over how to set this up on our Motu interfaces and show how we can apply this concept to streaming and video conferencing. In this section, we'll go over how to set up loopback on the Motu M series, Gen 5, and Pro Audio interfaces. Loopback is a driver feature on Motu interfaces. This means that you first need to visit motu.com download and get the appropriate driver for your Motu interface. Once you download, run the installer and follow all on-screen instructions. Now that we've completed the driver installation, let's talk about loopback on Motu M-Series interfaces. Loopback on the Motu M2 and M4 is very straightforward. After installing the driver, you should now see additional inputs available to your computer. Let's show my full inputs list for my Motu M4. It starts with inputs 1 and 2, and inputs 3 and 4, followed by loopback 1 and 2, and loopback mix 3 and 4. Loopback 1 and 2 is what you would choose if you only wanted to record the computer audio. Loopback Mix 3 and 4 is what you would choose if you wanted to record the computer audio and the live inputs on the M4 simultaneously. Check, check, one, two, check. Check, check, one, two, check. Loopback on the Ultralight Mark V is also very straightforward. However, it has some added flexibility. With my Ultralight Mark V selected, you can see I have more inputs available because of the expanded hardware I.O. Loopback falls on channels 9 and 10. It works the exact same way as described before. However, the Ultralight Mark V has the ability to change the loopback channel placement. Allow me to explain why. The Ultralight Mark V has a lot of inputs and outputs on it, and so it offers a lot of audio channels to software on your computer. Professional recording applications like Digital Performer can see all of the Ultralight's channels, so it doesn't matter that the loopback channels are inputs 9 and 10 in the list because you can easily choose them. 
but other more basic streaming apps may not necessarily have the ability to choose inputs 9 and 10, or even see them for that matter. In fact, many basic streaming and video conferencing apps can only see the first two inputs on any audio interface. Let's take OBS for example. OBS is a popular streaming software for Twitch, Facebook Live, YouTube, and much more. However, it can only see the first two inputs of any audio interface when chosen on Mac. See how when I choose the Ultralight Mark V as my OBS audio source, it only sees the signal from Mic 1 and 2, which are the first two inputs on the Ultralight Mark V. As you can see, the YouTube video is playing, but I don't hear the YouTube video in OBS because OBS can't listen to inputs 9 and 10. To get around this, Motu has implemented a feature in the QMix 5 driver software that allows you to move the loopback input channels to the front of the list. First, close out of your DAW or streaming software and pause all audio playing on the computer. Next, open QMix 5 and navigate to the Device tab. Find Loopback Location and change it from USB in 9 and 10 to USB in 1 and 2. As the text to the right suggests, this will temporarily reset the USB connection, so make sure you pause all audio and quit all software using the Ultralight Mark V before changing this. After it's back up, you can relaunch all of your software. If we reopen DP, you can see that the loopback channels have now jumped to the front of the list. You can also now see that loopback audio is making it into OBS because it is now appearing as the first two input channels. Like I said, different software has different capabilities. Some can see beyond inputs one and two, and others cannot. But with the Ultralight Mark V, we've made it easy to accommodate the software in use. Finally, it's worth noting that all Motu Pro Audio interfaces can do loopback as well. You'll just need to route it accordingly. Open the Motu Discovery app and open the Motu Pro Audio Control web browser for your interface. Before you make any routing changes, make sure you've saved a device preset for your product. If you haven't already, click the preset button in the top left corner of the device tab. Then type in a name for the preset, and press create. This will ensure that if you make any incorrect changes, you can easily revert back by choosing the preset and clicking apply. Once you've done that, go to the Routing tab. We need to primarily focus on the From Computer section at the top and the To Computer section on the left. It's best to expand only these sections and collapse everything else. From Computer channels are for audio leaving your computer. All basic playback software like iTunes, YouTube, and Spotify send audio out of From Computer 1 and 2. Two computer channels are for sending audio into the computer. What we need to do is patch from computer one and two to any of the available two computer channels. However, I can see that all of my two computer channels are occupied by physical inputs on my A28ES. So go to the enable outputs section and adjust my two computer channel count. Currently, my two computer channels are maxing out at 22. Since loopback will require a two-channel stereo mix, I will raise the two-computer channel count to 24. Now, two-computer 23 and 24 are available for loopback. Find the From Computer 1 column, follow it down until you get to the two-computer 23 row. When you have reached the intersection of From Computer 1 and two-computer 23, Click with your mouse to create a square patch. 
If you are unable to create a patch, look in the top left corner of the routing grid and make sure the lock icon is unlocked. Back in the grid, now find the From Computer To column and follow it down until you get to the To Computer 24 row. When you have reached the intersection of From Computer To and To Computer 24, click with your mouse to create a square patch. You should now have a series of blue squares that look like this, and your two computer channels should indicate that it's being occupied by from computer one and two. In essence, this is exactly what is happening on both M-Series and Ultralight Mark V interfaces, but we are manually setting up the routing. One final touch I do here is rename the two computer channels. Do this by clicking on the two computer channel name and renaming it to loopback. For instance, I'll click on the 2 Computer 23 channel and rename it to Loopback, and then I'll repeat the same thing for 2 Computer 24. Now, if I launch DP and choose the 828ES as my audio interface, I will see my Loopback channel available in my stereo input list. If you find yourself using a pro audio interface in a streaming software that cannot see beyond inputs one and two, simply repeat this process, but patch from computer one and two to two computer one and two. Lastly, if you want to add live audio from any inputs on your Pro Audio interface to the loopback channels, you'll need to use the hardware mixer. Return to the routing tab in the Pro Audio web app. For this change, expand all inputs and outputs across the top and side. Next, find the To Mixer setting in the Enable Output section on the left. You can mirror the same channel count as your current two computer channels. So for mine, I will also create 24 two mixer channels. Then scroll down the routing grid to find the in one channel on the left. Recreate the exact same patch scheme that is currently going on the two computer channels. As you can see from mine, it's a big diagonal line going from my mic inputs all the way over to my from computer one and two channels. So for my configuration, I can simply click on the in one cell on the far left, drag all the way down until I reach in 24 and then release my mouse. This will create the same looking patch configuration as my two computer channels. Lastly, find the main L and R channels across the top of the routing grid. Since we are now routing everything through the onboard mixer, all input channels get summed to a stereo main output. We now need to take that summed stereo main output and send it back to the computer to achieve loopback. So, find the main L column at the top of your routing grid Follow the column down until you find the two computer one row and click to make a patch. Now find the main R column, follow it down until you find the two computer two row and click to make a patch. You can now switch to the mixing tab. Here you can control the levels and effects for all channels being looped back into the computer. Now, you can play back computer audio and create a loopback mix for all your other input sources. All EQing, compression, reverb, and more will be sent back to the computer as a stereo mix for your streaming app. Motu interfaces provide a wide range of loopback possibilities for audio capture, streaming, video conferencing, webinars, 
online events, and many other applications. For any questions about Motu products, please send a Motu Tech link via your account on motu.com. Thanks for watching.